Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about the Shinho camera and changing your bellows. Sometimes you need a wide angle bellows. When you've got the camera set up with a very wide angle lens, what's going to happen is as you try to do rise and fall, you're going to be putting a little bit of a strain on the bellows. So what you want to do is put in a wide angle bellows. Okay, I'm going to show you how this is done. First thing I'm going to do is remove the rear standard. And you'll notice there's two screws on the top. These hold in the bellows. And there's a little bit of a, let me see if I can get a good angle for you here. There's a little locking bar right here. So what you want to do is move the locking bar to the, this side and up. So I'm just going to move it up, and you'll notice the front of the front of the bellows come out. There's a little groove where it fits in, and then we're going to loosen these two screws, one on each side. Let me just take a look over here, and you can see the bellows come right out. And one thing I want you to notice: there's a little tiny dot on the front frame of the front of the bellows, that means the top. So now we're going to take the wide angle lens, again we got the little dot over here, so we're going to put this in the back, and it sort of fits in just in the little edge there, there's actually a little piece right on the bottom, a little piece of metal, fits right in the groove right here, this bottom part of the frame. That's the first thing we're going to do, so get that in the frame. Now cut it in, Just tighten this up, do the other screw on the other side, and if you look in the back here, you'll see it's all flush, the back frame of the wide angle bellows. And now again on the front, let's give it a little more room here. You want the bottom frame to fit right in the groove right here. See. There we go. It's always hard to do when you're at a bad angle. And then slide this down. This little locking bar, you want to slide it this way and down. Okay, so now we're in place. So now you can see when we've got real close up, and you want to do rise and fall, you can go the whole distance without any problem. And then again taking this off, let's loosen this up. Okay, so we're going to, the little locking bar in the back right here, we're just going to raise to the, this side and up, so the front of the frame of the bellows comes out. We're going to loosen these two knobs, the one on this side, the one on this side, and the bellows come right out. And again, we'll put back the standard bellows. The little dot is the top. Let me just get it so I can see it better. Again, we want to get in the little groove, the bottom part of the frame. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to tighten it up. Tighten this side up. And again, you want to get the bottom of this frame in the little groove. Let me show you right here. This little groove right here. And then slide this little locking bar to the left and we're back in business. So now we've got the regular bellows back on. Slide these back and that's how it works. Now that I have the bellows back in place, normal bellows, we're going to put the rear standard back. And again, if you don't remember from the last time, you want these two flipped up for, oh, for letting it in and lock them down. This is secure. 
and I thank you for watching. I hope this helped.